welcome back to the bioinformatics hub in this video we will learn how we can perform molecular dynamic simulations using eye modes if you are curious about how protein behave in a dynamic environment and how to analyze these results you are in the right place first we will learn what is molecular dynamic simulation molecular dynamic simulation is basically a computational method which is used to study how molecules move interact over time um, MD simulation basically show the physical movement of the atoms molecule and this will allow scientists to observe the dynamic behavior of protein, DNA and other pro biological structure. So why this is important? MD simulation help us understand how protein fold, uh, help us to understand their interaction with ligand and how they change shape during the biological process. This information is very important for drug designing, predicting protein function and as well as for understanding the disease mechanism and to develop new drug. So here we will use eye modes for this purpose. You have to uh, open the eye mode server. The home page of the eye mode is very simple. Uh, here you can see the interface of the eye mode. So here you have to um, put your uh, protein structure remember the protein structure should be in the pdb format so then click on the submit it will take some time and then it will give you the result so if the if there is um, if the server is busy it will take some time if there is no a lot of jobs so uh, then i mode will give you result in seconds otherwise it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes so when you will learn uh, when you will run the molecular dynamic simulation using the i mode uh, i mode will give you result in the form of uh, different uh, graphs so uh, i mode will give you b factor mobility graph b graph edge one graph variance residues index and elastic network here you can see the uh, result of the i mode so I mode will give you a result in the form of NMA mobility, which is basically normal mode analysis. If you will click on the arrow, this arrow basically show um, this arrow basically represent the direction of the interaction or the bond. So here you can see the B factor mobility graph. B factor mobility graph is basically to measure the capability of a molecule to deform at each of its residues. So uh, B uh, factor mobility basically reflect the atomic displacement during the thermal vibration in the protein structure. And uh, it basically also indicate how flexible are red uh, different region of the protein during the simulation. Higher uh, flexibility indicate these regions may undergo significant conformation change or involve an interaction with an other molecule. But low B factor mobility suggests that molecules are reddish and these areas are more stable and are less likely to change the shape. Uh, next, you can see the B factor. B factor basically compare the uh, compare your structure with the PDB uh, structure. Here you can see that uh, um, the alignment is different, which means that your uh, uh, NMA structure is not similar to PDB structure. So then uh, you can see the edge one graph. H1 graph basically um, derived from the covariance matrix of the atomic position. This represents the stiffness of the mode of motion. Each H1 value corresponds to a specific mode of uh, vibration. A higher H1 indicates there is a more resistance to deformation, suggesting a more reddish uh, region, while the lower H1 corresponds to softer, more flexible region. So uh, it's basically uh, its values directly related to the energy required to deform the structure. If the edge one value is low, the, uh, it's easy for the protein to deform. So next one is various graph, which is inversely proportional to the edge one value. And here the color bar show the individual. So there is two color, red and green. 
and they represent different values. Variance uh, is basically, uh, it show the fluctuation of atomic position during the simulation. And it is calculated based on the edge one and it indicate how much a particular mode contributed to overall flexibility of protein. So higher edge variance indicate that the specific mode contributes significant to, significantly to the overall flexibility of the protein. Region with higher variance are more likely to undergo conformational change. However, low variance suggests that the mode has little effect on the flexibility indicating stability in that region. Next one is residues index graph which is uh, you can also call it covariance map covariant covariance matrix indicate coupling between the pair of residues so it helped to identify specific amino acid their position relative to the entire protein and here you can see that the red color mean the correlated and white color mean uncorrelated and uh, blue color mean anti-correlated motion. So if you have a lot of uh, red color in your graph, it means that uh, there is a lot of uh, correlation between two proteins, mean there is uh, two proteins are um, interacting with each other. So the last one is an elastic model. Elastic model basically define which pair of atom are connected by spring. Elastic model is basically the um, simplified uh, representation of protein dynamic where the protein is treated as a network of interconnected nodes that can move relative to each other. I mode basically give us this uh, elastic uh, network to show how different regions of protein interact and move in relation to one another. This network can help to identify the allosteric site as well as the region involved in interaction across the protein structure and this is important for understanding the biological function and the mechanism so here um, gray color indicate uh, a stiffer spring and uh, white color definitely indicate that the spring are not uh, stiffer so from here uh, in, you can download all the file um, all these file and graph and everything and then you can analyze uh, analyze based on these results so thank you for watching this video see you next time